This pretty good coverage is brought to you by Power Grip, the official retail partner of the European Pro Tour. Hello and welcome back to coverage of the 2023 Estonian Open, third stop of the European Pro Tour. We are here in Pilla Palu, Kurvama Disc Golf Park. This is Round to Front 9 MPO lead card coverage brought to you by MDG Media. I'm Connor Wood, and with me once again, Maxime Tange. Yes, sir. Let's do this, man. Second round, we started with Jonas Alto with the hot round yesterday. So we have a 1004 rated player, super stats from here. And yeah, let's see how he's going to play today, my man. And joining him, Mikael Hemme. Really solid performance last season throughout the European Pro Tour. It was right up there in the point standings, so really consistent. And you see that by those numbers, 100% scramble and 100% C1X. Wow. And there you have Mauri Willmann with also the minus 10 yesterday. Super solid. He won Copenhagen PDPT1 in Helsinki. He's uh, on fire this season. Let's see, man. And we see a wink there from the man rounding out our lead card, Ville Ahokas from Turku, Finland. 1004 rated, very well rounded. Excited to have him join us as well. Okay, let's do this. As we take a look though at the standings, you see Jonas Alto leading by one stroke, Mikael and Maori tied in second at 10 under par, Ville tied with Nestori at 9 under, Paul, Severi, and others tied in sixth. Still a very tight battle. Yeah, let's go, man. It's going to be interesting. Super solid uh, lead card. And we start with hole one. Par three, 85 meter island hole. For many, just a simple straight shot, but you can play a soft hyzer with the backhand or forehand if you choose to. You see these white markers up here delineating the OB area. It is hazard. If you don't manage to hit the island, you'll need to take a penalty stroke and play it from where you lie. There are some trees on the left side of the island that can come into play and obstruct your putt if you're underneath them, but for the most part, it's a straight shot that a lot of these guys are going to be looking to birdie. Yeah, definitely. Even if you arrive under those trees you're talking about on the left side, you're happy. You're inside the island and you're playing for the birdie. Let's see how Jonas is handling the situation. And exactly what we were talking about, he's going to be inside for sure. But under the tree, yeah, he, he can yeah. be happy about it, no worries. He was right up by the trunk though, may find some branches in his way, almost certainly. Mikael now, good correction playing to that right side, we're going to see a hyzer fade at the end. Oh, man. oh, as he catches a guardian on his way, will find himself in the hazard. It happens, sometimes you miss it, sometimes not. And we have Maori here. Yeah, it's perfect. Miss the stick. Amazing shot from Maori. Underneath the basket. Easy birdie to start. Man, he's so smooth. Exactly. And we have Ville. We are also used to have him uh, on the lead cards for the moment. He's uh, he's kind of uh, on fire. You know, solid with the game and bullseye hit for him. Amazing start. No stress, and although it's still a little bit cold for the time of year it is in Europe, it's uh, pretty pleasant, and the winds have picked up, though, here in round two. You saw a significant tailwind here on hole one. Exactly. Mikhail now with the crosswind. Yeah. Easy start. Not happy about it. It's going to be a bogey, but no worries. He has 17 holes to go. And Maori. Yeah. Easy birdie. These these island holes are often very polarizing. Getting a two or a four, it's very rare that players find a three unless they miss their circle putt. Yeah. As we'll see exactly that here from these players. Yeah, everybody needs to know that the island is created to have a you know the C1 circle. So if you're outside you can just jump at it. And if you're inside, you're definitely inside. It's uh the design from hole one. So one bogey, two bogeys and uh and two, oh no, two birdies, one par, one bogey to start. Let's go. Okay. 
Here we are, hole two, par three, 112 meters. This fairway goes left after you break through this initial tree line. You need to get your disc to fade and push forwards. A very specific line, you wanna hit one of these inside gaps on a high hyzer angle, get your disc to fade as far left as possible and try to crash past these last guardians. Really tricky and specific line that you need to hit. You can't push it too far forwards and you can't hyzer out early or else you will find left or long OB. Yeah, taking this bird is definitely a bonus, you know, it's always uh, it's always good to take it. Even after the first birdie on hole one. Let's go, it's tight. Missing the trees. Oh the tree saving <laughs> saving him from, from the OB, I think. Good shot. Yeah, fantastic result. Like you said, maybe a little bit inside, but you really do need to push left quite a lot. Significant fade is required. Ville straight down the middle and finds those last guardians. He'll be just outside circle looking to find his birdie. Yeah, the line was definitely the, the perfect one. Just uh, hitting the trees, protecting the basket. Ah, voilà, that's the line. Yes. Should, be, should be perfect. Yeah. A bit deep. Yeah, catches the branches, doesn't get the full finish to the flight. He gets knocked down, also just outside circle, really showing just how tight that perfect line is. Yeah, you're happy if you have a birdie chance on this one. And everybody is missing the, the first garden tree, so happy with it. And no OB for Mikael, so good result for the whole card, birdie possibilities. It's always good, man. If, if you hit, you know, you can... As I told you know yesterday, you can you can do the perfect shot and hit the first three. So nice result for the four players. Our leader Jonas up first, oh, just a bit low, good. and actually tied for the lead with Maori now, both sitting at eleven under. That may give a chance to Maori. We see Ville up first. Oh, good line though. Yeah, he can be confident about it. Good, good one. Just not the result he's uh, waiting for. Mikhail with the straddle from Circle's Edge doesn't quite find the full follow through, comes out a bit early. And Maori, closest of the bunch, a short birdie putt here to put himself back into the solo lead, just like that here on hole two. No worries for Maori. Perfect start. We'll see some short putts to clean up now. Do you think uh, there's any pressure here on Maori, given that he's the only Estonian here at the Estonian Open lead card? So you're used to have a lot of Estonians and and Finnish guys, you know, in the in the lead cards. You know, they they are used to, and that that's the two main countries in Europe. So uh, yeah, mainly 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 there. Good man, don't stress it. <laughs> <clears throat> and I think there is a mistake on the on the graphics. Nice to mm -hmm. write. We just have to pay attention. Yeah. And not look at the bottom too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, but I'm gonna write it down. And thank you to Pretty G. Hole three. Par 3, 146 meters. This is a big drive off the elevated tee with OB to the left and the right. Many players are going to throw a long fighting hyzer flip or maybe even a soft flex to try and find the distance. For the right-handed backhand throw, you're going to want to push that tree line on the right as close as possible and try to fade out just up here to the pin. Although it's 146, probably plays like 100, 135, still a very big drive and attackable for all these guys who are on this lead card. Yes, you, the, the bird is definitely a bonus. Let's see how they handle it. But uh, yeah, big drive and uh, you know it's early in the round so sometimes the pressure doesn't help. Yesterday he just put it underneath the basket. And this looks so good again. You see two look. Oh. Grounds it a little bit low but that line was just on a rope to the chains. Yeah, he's going straight at it. No pressure, no worries for Maori. Good shot. Okay, trusting the turn. 
Beautiful shot. A bit short. It's gonna be a C2 also for Ville. Good shot. Yeah, I think a common result, you would rather fade out a bit too much rather than turn over too much because that is how you find trouble. So a lot of these guys will go with the Heiser release, get it to flat, and maybe turning softly right. Oh. But they're going to want to end left. This might be fading towards OB as well, though. Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, it's all good. It's all he good. He slows it down. Nice shot. Three circle, two looks. We'll see if Mikael can get any closer. And you can see he has glove on his left hand. The weather is still a bit cold here in Estonia. And it's an OB finish for Mikael here, I think. Yeah, I believe he crossed over that OB line. We'll have a long circle to look to save his par now. Mikael. Floats it up, almost drops it in, just a little bit early, falling out of the sky. An honest bid, keeps himself close. Okay, and that's his go-to distance. Come on, man. Oh. Oh. Ville Ahokas from downtown, his signature spin putt. Beautiful. We see Jonas now. Circle to look for his birdie. Also, just low out of the hand. Yeah, easy par, though. Not that bad. Yeah, really tough birdie to get. No worries to take the three. And let's see this. He can make everything inside 20 meters. Oof. And just a bit too much on the right side, but good, good height. He can trust it. And the comebacker around 5 meters. That center, easy peasy for Malvi. Jonas now to clean up his par. His third here. Coming in as the leader with the hot round of 11 under in round one. Now beginning to fall behind a little bit to the pace set by Ville and Maori, but still very much in contention with a ton of golf to play. Really shows you that you need to play a solid round every round of the three to maintain the same pace that these guys are holding at the top. Here you see hole four, the first par four and 154 meters. An interesting hole. This is a curving, heavily wooded fairway with potential for a whole variety of shots. You want your first shot to likely come on the right of these trees through this gap that the drone is flying. If you're throwing the right-handed backhand, you're going to try and fade left here to open up your second shot. Some of them will try to fight through these trees and beat this obstacle on the right. A really good shot will land somewhere about here, leaving you a short 40 to 50 meter upshot to an open green. Very attackable hole given the distance. A lot of variety in shot shapes you can choose as well. Exactly. Roller, backhand, forehand if you want. You can choose a lot of uh, of shots. Here we have Ville looking to go with the roller. Oh, bit late. But he stands it up and actually oh. goes underneath the, the the carriage there. Wow. You know, fortunate break. You know, they are usually talking about uh, Second World War, man, on the course. There is a lot of, you know, holes everywhere on the course. And what you see, you know, the obstacle on the right side is a, is an old one from there. I'm pretty sure it's a... Uh, they always talk about it, you know, on the course, every tournament, every year. History here. Good shot from Maori. History on the course and history in the making here at the European Pro Tour. Maori hits one down the middle. Jonas up next. Early miss it. Oh, wow. Good result. And still a fine, fine spot to still attack for birdie. You really don't need so much distance. More about just placement in the fairway. Yeah, definitely not the best shot. I think he's, uh, he's a bit under pressure, but, uh, but the result is all okay. He, he will have a look to, to go to the basket for the birdie. 
Mikael to finish. Keep the line. This is going to push the left side rough. Hmm, that's not what you want. Hopefully he won't be too deep inside the, the trees. And we are off here on hole four. Jonas up first, as you mentioned, may have not gotten all that he wanted, but still you see he has a great straight look, about 80 to 90 meters. And beautiful picture perfect. Exactly, bullseye hit, that's what he needs to. Yeah, enter the round uh, the correct way. Maori. Yeah, it'll be his first birdie here in round two. Ooh. Wow, Maori with a, a little bit of an unforced error there, but lots of trees on the way. He might just be playing for par now, although, as you mentioned, he has a lethal putt from deep. Yeah, and again, this guy can make everything. In oh, beautiful shot. And I think he was largely more deep than we thought, and I think it, it helped him. From the roller, you see how far up he made it. Even gave it a bid there with the forehand hyzer. Chain high the whole way. Goes a bit past it. A legit run. Nicely stopped it within the circle. Maori from C2 for his birdie. Oh, early? Okay. Yeah, a li little bit tentative, it looks like. Didn't have the usual spin and pace that he puts on it. But Ville finding his birdie. It's crazy, you know, like you, you can't you can't know that because you were not on tournament, but there was like 200 people following Paul Macbeth on the, the second card. And you have some spectators on the lead, but everybody was uh, completely pumped by the, the presence of uh, Paul. It's crazy how one man can change everything. Understandably so. The hype and excitement that he's bringing by coming over to Europe. It's uh, an exciting time for European disc golf. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And hole five now. This par three sits at 108 meters and shapes really nicely for the forehand flex. You see the fairway initially go uphill, sloping left to right. It then quickly drops down towards this opening, towards the green, a heavily sloped green with a basket perched up on these steps. You want to make sure that on your approach or putt, you find chains or nothing as the roll away is very possible, you want to put this one in or sit it at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, common consequence, you know, from missing your putt on this green. If you don't make it, you are in trouble. It's dangerous. Vile putting together a really nice start now on the box. Catching an early tree, kicking left, it'll open up his angle, but still very obstructed. Yeah, worst results you can you can wait for. It. Left side is definitely hard to scramble. Jonas with the same game plan. <sighs> oh wow! The double up, both of them kicking to a very similar spot. You know, birdie is definitely a bonus, but bogey is sometimes. You, you can't be too too angry about a bogey on this one. Sometimes it just happens. It's tight. It's not easy. Mikael is definitely not in position to take the birdie also. Let's see, Maori. Okay. Keeping. You need to miss it. Wow. Beautiful. Playing a much more inside line. He lands in bullseye. There's that roll away, but... Good curl back. He's sitting at about seven to eight meters uphill putt for birdie. Yeah. I wonder if that was his intentional line or if he just got a good break there on the right side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, he, the line, you know, he made it hold the, the line. So I, I'm pretty sure it was, a, it was a good shot from him. And you can see here, you know, you're, you're not in a good position on the left side there. He just did to pitch up. Third shot from Jonas. Nicely done. No reason to battle too much up that hill. Puts himself in a great spot to find his putt. Fiedle now able to straddle out. Has a look. Yeah, better position from, uh, you know, compared to Jonas. 
high on the green and you can see again check this oh wow he's like 15 meters 14 meters from the basket not so much speed on that roll as well it really came down fast yeah Mikhail just playing to the bottom not trying to push up the hill very wise we'll see Ville now as you mentioned 15 meters uphill Oh, and another one that he finds to save his par. Ville Ahokas from circle two. Beautiful spin putt. You know, you can see it's, it's his go-to distance. You know, between, between 10 and 20 meters, he's so, so efficient. Easy for Maori from seven meters. Usual for him. Jonas finding his bogey save there. Unfortunately, will lose one stroke to Ville and Maori, who are sitting at 12 under. Jonas will fall to 11. Mikhail now to save his par. Yeah, shouldn't be an issue. Four meters. Ooh, high on the chains. But it's all good. Oh, <laughs> Maori. <laughs> Missing the stairs. Slippery slope. Tough green for the cart, but also some work to get that up there. You see here from above the drone shot of hole six. A very unique shape. This par four sits at 182 meters. You have this initial straight shot through the gap where you need to miss these trees to avoid the OB and then have your disc begin to fade or stall to the left around the corner. A lot of these guys will throw really high to try and push that fade as much as possible left and try to beat this last island of guardian trees. The basket is tucked right behind here. Another one that you can attack. You need a good placement shot on the first, good touch on the second. Maybe potentially eagleable, but would require a really huge shot. Yeah, big arms are definitely in position to uh, go for, yeah, C2 putts to, to take the eagle. I've seen it through the tournament. Let's start with Maori showing the way to the group. So you can really go high. Let's see. He's going for the straight shot. And fading, it's a perfect shot. Maybe a bit deep. Yeah, he flipped it up to flat. I mean, a great spot. He's going to have no problem look at that birdie approach. Yeah, definitely. No stress at all, but a little bit too straight, if anything. I think you want to hold that hyzer angle. He really got it up to flat for some part of that flight. Yeah, let's say it's the safe line. You know, a lot of players are going higher. Don't take those branches on the right side. Ah, uh, we can't... Oh, maybe OB. Maybe stayed safe. Rare to be safe there. Normally that high right kicks you to the left OB, but may have stayed safe. Mikhail now. Yeah, well... Less high and more straight. If he can get this to fade now, it'll be good. You know, it's going, to be, it's going to be a bit deep, but when you are inside those trees in front of the tee, you, you, you can have a chance to go to the basket. Jonas now. Also with that height, good hyzer angle on the release. This is fading much earlier. Really nice spot. Dead center fairway. Yeah, that's the best shot of the group. Comfortable, no trees in the way for the second shot. Good shot from Jonas. To go one under par if he makes a birdie. And no B for Ah, maybe a no B. Oh, and definitely no B for Ville. Knowing that he was far from the OB. Okay. Big Spike Heiser tries to take a shortcut around the corner. Not quite making it up to the basket. He'll have a really long look to save his par but it'll be a tough one. Man, he's bringing so much energy in the group. Ville is, a, is such a great human. It's crazy. It's Mikhail playing the back door. Interesting choice from his lie. Perhaps the bigger gap out of the woods looks to be right about circle's edge. Yes, he will have a chance to take the bird. <laughs> <laughs> and Ville chilling here. 
Maori in a good position. So going, oh, going on the left side of the trees, catching some branches. It's going to be a long look uh, to to take the bird. I was pretty sure, you know, from the the position we had, he would take the the right side. And there, I thought so too. Great shot. Really nice from Jonas. Ville from super deep. Oh, and he <laughs> finds another one. This is craziness. <gasps> this man does not miss a putt. That looked to be outside of circle two. Oh. Incredible. As you see him look up to the heavens and thank whoever's out there watching over him. Please, three Good in style a row points checking well. the camera guy. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Let's take another look from way downtown. Huge straddle, tons of height. And look at this as it begins to run out of steam. Just sneaks it over. Wow. Why? It's amazing. Oh, and what a line from Maori, man. Between the trees. So much trust. Split the gap. Mikhail now, just within the circle, finds his birdie. Nicely done from the scramble. Pushed it a little bit long off the tee shot, but well done to him to bring it back. Yeah, he makes me think about Calvin, you know, Heimberg with the, the putting technique. So simple. Between the spin and the and the high. Oh, it's crazy. Beautiful putting technique. And apart from Maori now, almost a bird with a long look. Good result for, uh, for the packed. guys. Here we are on hole seven. Par three, 109 meters. This is an uphill fairway tee shot with a low ceiling. About halfway down this fairway, you gotta go under these branches and crest over this hill. As you make it over, it has a steep drop downwards. Controlling your height and nose angle will be crucial as you find this small basin green to slide up into. Really interesting line. The height is really what matters. A lot of them that crest over the hill tend to filter towards the basket. Hard shot to make. You know, it's up here at the start and then hard downhill. You need to be super low to miss those branches. Mm. You can see, man, he was almost on the ground, but he's he's still flying. Bit too much on the right side. I think he was playing that soft flex shape. Slight Anheuser from the hand. We see from Jonas a Heiser release, but it gets flipped quickly. As he will also find himself right side rough. Oh, fortunate kick back out. He'll have a long look to the basket. Yeah, even, even if you miss your shot, normally you, you have an easy approach to the basket. Oh, and that looks better. Maybe a bit too much on the left side. Yeah, same position as uh, Macbeth yesterday. He can He can make it. And you can hear, oh, really low. Hille. Yeah, I even got a skip. Fortunate that he got enough distance to at least be not blind on this approach. Has a look at it. But you can see. Big advantage. You can see he, he completely missed his shot, but he has, yeah, he will save the par. Bird or par. Normally no bogey on this one. Jonas with a nice jump putt approach, keeps it simple, very risk averse. Mikhail trying to shape the Anheuser around the branches, catches them. He'll have still a tester putt for par. Maori for birdie. Another deep putt, just so casual, as he does. That'll put him to 13 under par, Maori Vilman. Snagging the birdie here on seven. Mikael, short work there for him. Good save, though. You know, he was 
six, seven meters from the basket to save the par. Good results. Same for Ville after a bad drive. Easy par. And let's go to hole eight, man. Let's take a look here. Hole 8, par 4, 156 meters. You have this initial gap, you can go left or right of this tree. A lot of players will like to hug the right side of this fairway on hyzer and high to try and get around this corner. If you can get your tee shot around this last tree here, it will give you an open straight look to the basket of about 70 meters. Once again, a very attackable par 4 that really relies on placement more than power given the short distance, technical hole, but very attackable. Yeah, you're definitely going for the high hyzer shot on the right side of the, the middle the middle tree. So uh, as you're saying, it's a, a first placement shot and then you have a, around an around 60 meters approach to, to go to the basket. If you miss the garden trees around the, the green, you're all good. It's a must take birdie for, for this lead card. Voila, you see the high line. It's a perfect shot from Maori. Really nice. Was not really ever in danger of hitting anything. Great placement. Michael matching a very similar line here. As he comes through that inside gap, gets a little bit of a skip. Also great placement. Yeah, a bit tight, but he, miss, he misses the, the tree there. Good shot. Amazing disc there. Beautiful, and he throws it well too. Oh, missing. He found the inside gap though this time. It's gonna be tight. Caught some rough. Yeah. So he's on the left side of the, the second part of the fairway, so we'll see exactly where he landed, but uh, that's not the best way. Oh, don't catch anything. That's a good shot. Oh, a bit tight also. So we'll see. So the two first are perfect. And we'll see for Ville and Jonas. And you can see where the basket is right now. Same disc for him. Okay, nice. He looks shaping a high Anheuser. Doesn't get the full fade at the end to complete the flight and finish the distance. But he's within putting range, no doubt. Yes, that's that's what he that's not what he he's looking for on uh on this hole but he will have a chance and Ville is missing everything long but he's just outside of the circle he will have a downhill putt though so careful for the the putt for Ville we see some really good drives here now how much that rewards them just a simple 40-50 meter shot and that's bullseye for Mikhail so you have two choices on the approach, you can go straight but the, the gap is tight or you can also go on the left side, a lot of players are, are playing it and Maori just missing one of the, the garden trees, it's perfect bullseye Mikhail and Maori matching each other shot for shot this is Jonas on that downhill putt mm. A bit of little bit uh, wobbly from the hand, not quite the spin to push it forwards. Exactly, a bit wobble. Oh, low. But good line again for Ville. Looking super comfortable on the green to today. Easy par. As we see there, two pars and two birdies here for this lead card. Some claps from the gallery as they now begin to gather. And let's go for the last the last hole of the of the round, man. Here we are. Hole nine, par four, 150 meters. This is an 80 meter tunnel shot off the tee where you try to break around this last corner over the trench. The sweet spot for the landing is right about here as you then are left with a 50 to 70 meter shot slowly downhill. You want to attack this last few gaps, make it all the way up to the green. Another par four that's very technical, not much about distance, but very important, your placement. Yeah, I think 
and I'm not thinking about it, but I'm sure it's one of the hardest par four of the of the course. You make the birdie on this one is good. A par is okay. Bogey happens. Okay, and an interesting point of view here. Thank you, thank you. Maori first on Tinao. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the line you are looking for. Messing with the catch cam. And with Rene also. Quick on his feet. He made sure to get out of the way of that one. Yes. Mikhail now. Team Clash. Ooh, it's late. Looks like he's throwing the uh, the new Sunny Premium Plastic from Clash Discs. A little bit stiffer blend. He catches a tree on the right side. He'll be short just before the corner. Will be pinched on his upshot. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, a bit tight. A bit tight, though. You know, like the, the hyzer never really flattens. It's, it's a nice shot, but a bit tight. He will have a chance to, to go down to the basket. Same kind of line. Yeah, a bit more glidey. It's a, it's a bad, it's in the trench. It's a good spot. He will have a chance to go to the basket. Easy peasy. Is that potentially another uh, artifact from from the war previously? That trench. That's or exactly just a construction project. No, no, no. Yeah. That's exactly that's exactly what you're talking about. Everywhere you will see on the back nine, but hole eleven is a. Uh, you will see where the basket is. I will talk about it when we arrive there. Some upshots now here for the lead card. Jonas with a lot of height getting that soft flex right up there, probably five meters, good shot. You know, as I was saying, so it was a bit tight from uh, Jonas, but good enough to, to have a chance to go down. Oh, late release, catching some uh, early tree. He will have a super long look. 25, 30 meters. Again, Maori is completely able to, to make this. He's dangerous from everywhere. Catch a skip. Amazing. Bulls ahead. Great shot from Ville. Smooth control. This might be just outside 20. Honestly, that's a long putt. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it, man. He can land it from anywhere. Maori is on fire for weeks. It's crazy. He's dominati dominating Europe to me. Mikhail finds his birdie there. We haven't quite mentioned it, but Maori has very sneakily snuck to a, a great score here. 15 under. You see a lot of green on his scorecard and no red. And he doesn't, you know, give me the feeling he's forcing anything. It's, he's just going through the, the front line. Five down. Nothing impressive, you know, just uh, just going going through the course with the game plan he has. Good birdie from Ville. And a par there for Maori. A little bit of an errant upshot almost made that long birdie putt. Ends up with a par. As we take now a look at the standings, very interested to see Maori Villeman still holding the lead here, first position at 15 under. Nestori Tukanen 14 under in Seoul, second place. Ville and Jonas tied in third, Mikhail in fifth. Exciting battle. Yeah, exactly. You know, Maori is on fire as usual. And then the rest of the card is definitely there. So we are looking for the back nine. Thank you for following everything and see you on the next video. See you there.